Okay, don't know where that stopped at. So, I think we got it. So we got those holes marked there. Let's see if this fits here now. Uh, pretty much. It's just about flat. Okay, time to mark these holes, drill them, and we're going to start to paint it all up. All right, here we go. So, don't want to bore you with details, but next time you see this thing, it's going to be painted. All right, see you in a second. So I was just looking to find some screws to bolt these down, down here, and actually like that, but being the pack rat that I am, I save every screw, <laughs> save every screw and bolt and nut so just got them in a all these cases got tons of them on the wall got more cases behind here but just found 16 all the same size it's gonna work perfectly and they're good so being a pack rat paid off again so all right I'll get back as soon as uh, this is painted Yeah, I know I said I'd be back and it would be painted, but I couldn't let you guys go without seeing some of the work. So I did a little test splotch inside and then this is some deep base. It's actually what I used on my entertainment center cabinets. But I did those with a spray gun. So same paint and you just water it down a little bit. You can use a pneumatic sprayer and it goes on just dandy. Put a just light coat on. Just try to go all the way through the whole thing. And then later I will pick up again and put another light coat. Hopefully by then it'll start getting dark enough. I don't know if anybody has been looking at the holes from the cray uh, or the Craig jig. I was thinking about filling those, but they sell little inserts for them. But I might fill those later. Well, 
I'll stop filming here and then just continue until I get it done. So, just had to share it. All right, back soon. Hey folks, all right, we're going to mount the speakers now. So the cabinet is all painted, ready, and we're going to mount the speakers. So we're going to do these by hand so that we don't strip them out. We pre-drilled them. So I hope we can find the holes again. So these speakers are Jensen special design here. Uh, they're 30 watt speakers. So just wait till you see what I have to play these, uh, what's going to power these speakers. That'll be a special surprise for you at the end. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So I'm not putting them in all the way yet. I'm gonna make sure that we have all the screws started before I tighten them up. Thank you. 
just mounted them upside down. I just noticed because the handles here are at the top, it's the bottom, and these are upside down. the other side.
Okay, so the way these work out is they are 16 ohm speakers, 16 ohms, Jensen, they're made for 30 watts each. So the output of the amplifier is requires 8 ohms. So in order to get 8 ohms from 16 ohm speakers is to wire them in parallel. So parallel means coming out of the amplifier, there's going to be two wires. So one wire will connect to one side of the speaker. The other wire will connect to this side of the speaker. And then we will tie this and this together. Let me double think about that. No, that would put them in series. So both wires will connect here. And then the two outputs will come over to this side and connect over here. Yes, now that would put them in parallel. So, yeah, that's right. Had to think about that for a second. All right. So now we are going to make the wires for the speakers and if we wire up the speakers then we can put the jack on the back we could put the other edges protection for the edges we could put the handles on and we should be about ready to play so you're going to want to stay tuned to watch all of that. All right, so let's bring this up here. Okay, I might want to drill these. 